Greetings, and in this short video presentation, I'm going to show students how we go about adding images, editing that image, and editing our post, and getting back into it to make uh, changes once we have posted the image. I'll also show you some other tricks that I use uh, when building an initial response or responding to it, any initial response. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm up here inside of my discussion, up inside of Schoolology. And I noticed that there's a lot of limitations in here. Uh, some things that I can do and some things that I can't do, but we can overcome all these uh, limitations. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So what I've done is I've gone up and I've actually built a post, and this is called a HTML Cleaner. It's at htmlcleaner.com, and I can use this online editor to... Uh, to build my post, whatever I need to do, add images, change the font colors, uh, do whatever little tricks I want to uh, use to enhance my discussion response, okay? So here I've added a little cartoon and um, I'm getting ready to post this, uh, but before I do, I want to do some other things here too, so why don't I just go show you how I go about doing all this. So I'm going to add me a video. And uh, to do this, I'm just going to link the video up inside of YouTube. But I can't do this directly uh, up inside of my Schoolology text editor. Uh, or I can't, I, I just haven't figured it out. If somebody knows different, please enlighten me. All right. But I'm just going to go ahead and type in some text here. So I'm going to say, uh, here's a short video to help with this week's lesson. All right. All right, great. Now I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to go ahead and bold it using my bold function up here inside of my HTML cleaner. Now what I do is go get my video. Well, what I'm going to do is here, I'm just going to grab the title of a video that I think is going to add value to my post. And I'm going to go back over to my cleaner, put my mouse where I want that at, and just hit Control V and paste it in there. Now, I noticed that the font is much different, much larger than what I'm using. So I'm going to hit my backspace button one time and hit Enter one time. And my text now picks up the default font and font size. Great. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to grab my share. And I'm going to use the share link here. And I'm just going to copy that. Go back over to my HTML. And I'm now going to use the link function. So I have to insert a link function right here. And I'm just going to say OK. Now here's one of the things that we can't do up inside of Schoolology's uh, text editor. And that is change the color of the font. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bold. And then I'm going to change the color of blue for default uh, hyperlink to green. All right. All right. So now I've got my text ready to go here. So I'm just going to get rid of this here real quick. And I'm going to show you how I go about adding an image. Okay. So I'm up here. I'm up here inside of Google. Okay. Let me go to the home page here. Let me start this from scratch. Okay. And when I'm up inside of Google, what I do is I just type in whatever I, I'm looking for. Uh, this week's Module 1 discussion topic is on upgrades and uh, clean installs for Server 2012. So I can just type in Server 2012 Upgrade. All right. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start finding that image that I want to use. Now you notice that up here we have a number of options. I can shop for Server 2012, find videos, images, and news, and more and more. Okay, so I just go to Images. I find the image that I think would be appropriate, click on it. <coughs> now, I can do this a couple of different ways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to select copy image from my context menu. I right clicked on the image and I selected copy from my context menu. All right, copy image. That's what I want. 
Now I'll go back over to HTML Cleaner and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to paste. Okay. Now you'll notice that this is rather large. It's just a little too large for what I want to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my image. I'm just going to click on it anywhere with my left mouse button. That brings up these little square boxes on the side and in the centers of the image. Now if I take my left mouse button and I place it on any of those square boxes and I hold down the left mouse button I can now pull that mouse my pointer toward the center of the image and it resizes it automatically. Now you can do this also up inside of Schoolology. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and copy everything but the control A and then do a control C. Go back to my discussion, write a comment up inside of the discussion. And I'm just going to control V this and everything pops in there just like that. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and just submit my post. And we can see that I now have the post. But what I don't have is the ability to edit the post. Let's say that I found out that I didn't have my spell check on and I have a misspelled word. Well, what I need to do now is get back into my post. But I don't have, I don't have the feature. There's no way for me to get back into it. Well, what you got to do is you have to refresh the page or allow the image to actually reload. And the way I do it is I hit the back button on my browser one time like this alright then I hit the return button or the go forward button one time to bring me back to where I just was alright now my post is now reloaded and it's now going to be at the very bottom okay Look where my name is, and directly across from my name, I have these three dots. If I hold down my left mouse button and I click on the three dots, I have the edit and the delete function. So now I can go into edit, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to turn on the uh, spell check while I'm in here, okay? So here's the spell check. I can go ahead and turn that on. Um, if there's anything in here at this time, it may work or it may not work. I may have to highlight everything and then turn it on. Or yeah, I can turn it on and I can start typing again. Let's just type a misspelled word. Now notice that it didn't work, all right, because I've already finished the post. Now, if you want this to work, while you're typing, you have to enable the spell check before you start building the post. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and highlight that, turn it off, turn it back on, and my misspelled word is shown to me. All right, notice that it's underlined in red. All right, I can now right click on it and it will give me the options for correcting that misspelled word. Okay, well, that's just about it for how we go about editing adding images and and the like. Now everything I did up in HTML editor you can just about do over here but not quite. For instance I can't change the default font color and some other thing but I can if I use HTML cleaner. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and now I can either start over or just say forget about it. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee, whatever you like to do. All right. So that concludes this short video presentation on how we go about adding images and using some of the features uh, inside of the Schoolology text editor. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the discussions. Thank you.